Okay, so I do not have a actual live person to do this on, um, so I'm using my stuffed animal to do the calf food care for a female. Okay, and I don't have gloves, so I'm going to like show you if I'm putting the gloves on, but I have gloves on, but I don't have any. Okay, so I'm going to knock. Hi, Mrs. Jones. Today I'm going to be cleaning your catheter for you, which means I'm basically just going to expose your genital area. I'm going to clean. Um, I'm going to wash, rinse, and dry your catheter for you. Okay. And uh, since I don't have any privacy, my privacy is just like the window, I guess. So I just close the window. But privacy screen would be like the curtain. So I'm pulling the curtain for him or for her. Pulling the curtain for her for privacy. And then... Um, I got a bowl of water right here just to show you that I'm actually I'm not actually gonna dip it in, but can you check this for me? I got this water for her. Okay. Um and then obviously I'm putting all my clean gloves. So I'm going to expose um hip to like knee area, but since you guys can't really see, that's I'm telling you what I'm doing. What I would do is I'm going to expose from the hip to the knees, but since you're not going to be able to see it without me actually fully exposing, that's what I'm going to do. But I told you that this is what I'm going to do if I was actually in person. So I'm just going to expose my stuffed animal, or Mrs. Jones. And then I'm placing my linen protector, the soap thing, I guess, underneath her so it doesn't... Um, so it doesn't get on the couch or whatever. And then I'm going to wet my washcloth in my water. I'll do that actually. And then I'm going to apply soap to it. Rub that around so it gets nice and soapy. And then I'm going to hold at the, the catheter at the meatus. And then I'm going to clean four inches all the way with one swipe and then using a clean rag I am going to rinse so I'm going to push water on the rag and then I'm going to rinse holding the catheter at the meatus rinse four inches from the catheter with the meatus and the meat four inches and if I want to I can flip my rag and for a different side and do it again to get all the soap off. Dispose of that. And then I'm going to use another washcloth to dry, holding the catheter at the me or holding at the meatus. I'm going to dry the catheter. And then if I want to, I can flip and dry again. And then I'm going to make I'm going to remove the linen. I'm going to cover my client back up. Remember that I exposed her so you can actually see, but I would actually just do it at the hip to the knee or whatever it's called. Make sure that her signaling device is in it was in was it is within reach. And then I'm going to pull back the privacy curtain. So there's no more privacy. Then I'm going to dispose of my linen, which is just, I'm gonna put it over here. So I'm disposing of the linen over here. And then I'm going to empty this. Um, I can't really move my camera because this is all I could set it up for. So I'm going to empty it, rinse it, dry it, then to put it into the dirty linen area or the dirty disposable area or whatever, which is just gonna, I'm gonna put it right back here. And then I'm going to um, take off my gloves, wash my hands, put privacy back again if I didn't already do that, and then make sure that her signaling device is within reach and that she's good to go. Bed is in locked and low position. And then if there's anything else I can do for you today, Mrs. Jones, then we're all set to go. And skill complete.